Gear update, phase two. Ooh, only been talking about this forever. I mean, when did this, seriously, when did they last bring this up? It was either in the beginning of this year they mentioned it, or sometime last year, another finally mentioned, they're only mentioning it, actually. They're not even, they're not even doing it yet. They're just telling us about, oh, though, this is gonna happen. Still not doing it yet, though. <laughs> but anyways, let's get it. As we enter our seventh year, we continue to be committed to bringing new and exciting experiences, like the territory battle to you, and we are also committed to ensuring that our new, returning, and existing players are able to access all the game has to offer. With that in mind, we're announcing significant changes to a wide range of gear items modeled after the character shard acceleration we did in 2020. At a high level, these changes will double the amount of most gear available to all players and then adjust the salvage to limit impact on the relic system. These changes are designed to be focused on accelerating gear and not dive into significantly changing relics for the moment. So let's walk through our major goals for this phase. The goals, number one, to help existing players get new characters up to speed and usable in high level content. As the game has grown, they should have had a period after content, unless this is in high level content as the game has grown. <laughs> So has the difficulty and requirements for many events. Bringing a marquee character up to viability in a game where strong squads are often Relic 5 Plus is a, road, is a longer road than when we first introduced marquees many years ago. These changes will help shorten that journey and get characters up to snuff so you can feel confident in using them in a variety of modes sooner. This also benefits older journey guide events where we want players to be able to complete those faster and then be more able to pursue exciting releases like Jabba the Hutt and Dr. Aphra. Well, I feel what they're saying at the top here. They said, you know, bringing a marquee character up to viability when most strong squads are at least Relic 5 is a longer road than first introduced. Yeah, because way back in the day, way back in 2015 when this game first came out, um, the max gear level was like gear 10, I think. Yeah, it was gear 10. So, you know, getting a character from brand new up to gear 10 is a lot faster and easier than getting that brand new character up to relic 5 <laughs> because you have to complete gear 10 to get to 11 then from 11 to 12 then 12 to essentially 13 then 13 to relic 5 <laughs> a lot more steps there so i see what they're saying even if we talk about when when it was gear 11 i remember i remember when gear 11 was the max gear that's still a lot easier than going all the way up to relic 5 so that'd be cool i thought this was supposed to be about gear though that they're gonna speed up and another speeding up character as well even faster i mean i'll take it but still like they're saying oh so you can be more able to pursue exciting releases like java and dr dr afra like um it still doesn't really allow for that if if you're focusing on the other journey guide events you know what i mean oh i'm going after padme but hey i can go after java too like that's not how it works <laughs> anyways the second goal is to help newer players catch up. New players have seven years of releases and content to catch up on. I know. I think about that. I'm like, man, I've been with this game basically since day one. If, if I was correct, and this game came out on November 25th, I've been playing since December 25th, 2015. So this game was only a month old when I started playing. And it's like all the stuff that's been added over the years you know ships i remember when ships came out in november 2016 i remember when you know the gear was going up you know it used to be gear 10 was max then gear 11 then gear 12 then relics were introduced um i remember the level cap i think at first the level cap was 75 then it went to 80 and then it went to 85 and then it's just been stagnant they've never wanted to go to 90 i guess or anything it's just been 85 forever but yeah, there's that, there's, um, what else, all these journey guide characters, jeez, way back in the day, it was basically just Yoda and Papa Pal, <laughs> and then they look at, look at the journey guide now, it's so full, then you get the GLs, the GLs is getting full kind of too, there's seven now, so I think about all this, I'm like, man, this game would be so overwhelming for a new player, like, I, do, I know I have my second account that I do as well, but like, I'm an experienced quote unquote new player in that account because I have my main account so I know all about the game I know about all the changes everything that's come all, all along the way and stuff but somebody that's straight up new and just starting this game it's like man this is way overwhelming <laughs> so yeah I mean like they said here there was a lot to catch up on there sure is and the worst part kind of if you're a new player is they're constantly adding stuff 
I mean, even for me, I feel like it gets overwhelming sometimes. I start to finally get caught up, and then they're like, oh, we're going to introduce Relic 10 or something stupid. And it's like, come on, man. Oh, I just kind of got there. It's like it's like my teams. I, I worked on getting everybody to gear 12. And what happened, like, right around the time that I almost had everybody there, they introduced Relics. And I'm like, dang it, now I'm still behind. I was almost caught up, almost solid with everyone, and now i got to work on Relics. Cool. Just like, just like now, I'll get, I'll, I'll get my whole squad almost up to relic, and then they'll introduce like a new relic, you know, hit relic nine or whatever, relic ten, and then there's, you know, relic, relic two, relic level two, rebirth, or something stupid. Anyway, while we, we, wow, while we will ensure long-term progress of our oldest players is still valuable and respected, newer players need to be able to pursue top-tier characters earlier on in their experience. Just as for existing players, new players need to be able to unlock journey guide characters more quickly, which means they need enough early gear supply to work on multiple squads at once and allow early players to explore their favorite characters. They also need to be able to reach the relic system swiftly and begin to be competitive. Actually, as another side note, I think about how long it took me to work on a lot of characters and, you know, all the effort that I put in to get them beefed up. And now I think about all these changes that they've made that benefit new players. And I'm like, man, you know, I feel like I'm getting, like, screwed over. I put so much effort into this stupid game, especially in the beginning. And it's like now a new player comes along and they can just, like, rip right through it. And it's it might be overwhelming at how much there is to do. But at the same time, it's almost, like, easy. You can burn right through it. Oh, I'm, I'm level 85 already. Oh, I already got a all these characters 7 star oh look I'm, I'm approaching relics already where for me it was like a massive grind <laughs> oh well I don't know they still say it's our oldest players is valuable and respected and yeah, well we'll see I don't think they're doing anything for us though it's just the new players anyhow some of the details on how this is supposed to get all better all gear items below gear 12 this excludes MK12 Armatech and MK12 Sezerka items, the suite of purple items only used in G12 recipes, and injectors in addition to Chirotex. I don't know what any of this means. I mean, they might as well just put it in a different language. What did I just say? Those are just words. <laughs> we'll see their quantities doubled on most notes, events, shipments, bundles, and packs. All PVE... Wow, why do I keep talking weird? All PVE notes. Light, dark, fleet, normal and hard, raid rewards, mythic, assault, territory battles... Your prize chest will increase quantities of only the targeted items. Grand Arena, Territory Wars, Galactic Challenge, Conquest, End Crate, Milestone, Prizes, Old Journey Guide Events that award gear, such as Journey Knight Luke and Journey Knight Revan. Quest, Achievements, Quantities Available in Most Shipments, see below. Uh, this would be Crystals and most other currencies, such as Guild Event Tokens, Shop Current, uh, Shard Shop Currency, etc. It, but it does not include Conquest Currency. Any packs and bundles with the targeted items, Hyperdrive Bundle will be half price permanently once this update goes live. The amount of gear will, will remain the same. Oh, so it'll be 50 bucks now forever instead of 100. I guess they sold enough, so they're like, yeah, I guess, I guess nobody's really buying these, so 50 bucks will work, you know, cut our imaginary losses. Excluding the Hyperdrive Bundle, all packs and bundles will reward twice the amount of items for the same price. Ah... Uh, yeah, so this one, the hyperdrive stays the same, but it's half price. Everything else is the same price, but re rewards double. Which, ridiculously, is um, should have been from day one. I mean, think about some of these packs. These packs suck sometimes. So, just doubling the amount of prizes is like, yeah, this is what it should have been. I'm paying 30 bucks for trash. This is what it should have been. Doubled. You know, make it worth my money. Not that I've ever bought anything. But I still have looked at the packs just to see what they do offer. And nothing ever was jumping at me like, oh my god, I gotta do that. The only time I ever put real money into a game was when I used to play uh, Hypey Monster. However you say that, H-A-Y-P-I. They had this bundle for Christmas one year. This was years ago. Probably 2016 or so, 2017. Actually, no, it would have been before that, maybe 2014. And um, it was 100 bucks, which I wasn't a fan of, but they gave you so much. You got a, an exclusive character. You got tons of gear, tons of everything. It was well worth it. I was like, okay, it's expensive, but it's worth it. But most of these, these suck. Even the hyperdrive is just kind of mid. Yeah, okay, it speeds things up for a new player, but I still don't even feel like it's that, that juicy. Your characters can only get up to, what is it, gear 7 or gear 8 or something? So it's like, okay, they're not even really that viable in the grand scheme of things. Anyways, not adjusted by these changes. Gear challenges will remain unchanged. 
These were adjusted previously. Daily activity gear rewards. These were adjusted previously. Any places that reward gear 12 only items. All that crap are unchanged. List of gear not affected by these changes. So spoiler, it's not really a spoiler. Let's just get it. Okay, boring, boring, boring. Cool, yep, boring. Oh my god, it's a long list. This is all the stuff not affected by, so what they do? Change nothing? <laughs> Other changes, gear acceleration items will have their salvager conversion to relic materials reduced by 50%. Helps ensure those changes accelerate gear but re remain net neutral to the relic system. What? Gear acceleration items will have their salvager conversion to relic materials reduced by 50%. Oh, so is that the pain in the dick ones? Like those, there's one that you need 20 pieces. Oh, no, no, is it 20 pieces? No, 10 pieces to get one piece. So is that going to be five now? That'll help. The shipment prices of these goods will be, re will, oh, will be reduced by 50%. Conquest currency prices for these gear items are not changed. We plan for new marquee bundles going forward to begin offering more gear at the established prices, making it easier to get a head start on new characters. I'm hoping... Oh, wow. I don't know where I saw hoping from. I'm sure one of... The, the first questions many of you are asking after reading this is when are all these changes happening <laughs> well kind of i mean you have been talking about this for a long time now i mean at least you have a game plan lined uh, laid out but like when's it going to go into effect anyhow while there may be further changes to gear in the future as we closely monitor the impact all of these changes will be released alongside the new territory battle in december okay so we also have a release date for the new territory battles next month i don't think they said that yet but now we know Getting to G10 and G12 will be a smoother experience and your characters will be up and running faster than ever. We will monitor the effects of these gear changes very closely to ensure they have the effect we intended and make future changes as needed. We hope you are excited for these changes and you feel the impact in your day-to-day -day experience. Getting to G to G10 to G12 will be a smoother experience. Oh, but G12 to Relic is still gonna be a pain in the dick. Ugh. Hey, getting there faster. Does that mean you're gonna do something with the oh man, what are they called? The Chirotex? I don't know. I'm not gonna go back up and reread that.